All right, so we are now multiplying matrices. Look at the side that says multiplying, which is 4-3. You might have to flip it over. All right, you can only multiply them if, all right, look, if you've got a 7 by 4 and you've got a 4 by 3, as long as these middle numbers match up, you can multiply. If they don't, you can't, you're right, it does not exist. The answer would be the outside, which is a 7 by 3. So you just write 7 by 3 for your answer on number 1. Matrix M would be a 7 by 3. So again, the middle has to be the same. We talked about that yesterday, I think. Or maybe I did another class. And once those are the same, what's left on the outside, you bring it over. So look at number two. Our answer is going to be a 3 by 8, which means the outside numbers have to be 3 by 8. All right, but what does the inside number have to be on this one? It's got to be a 5, right, because the middle has to match up. So if that's a 5, this has got to be a 5 by 8. All right, y'all do number three. Okay. We didn't learn this yet. Okay. Hey, it's all right. Look, the answers got all right. The insides have to be equal. So I had to make that one a five. We got that. So look up, up at number one. The insides are equal. Whatever the outside numbers are is what your answer is. So my answer here is a three by eight. That means my outside numbers have to be three by eight. Middle numbers have to be the same. All right. Do number three. Middle numbers have to be the same. Answers the outside numbers. And when we start multiplying these, you'll see. Right back. Uh, no, on the multiplying side, we're not going to do 10, 11, and 12. Yeah. All right, so what's my answer? What goes in the box right here on number three? Let's see, the outside is a 2 by 6, so this is a 2 by 1. Does everybody understand why this has to be a 1? Because the inside numbers have to be equal, right? Okay, all right, let's go to 4. Everybody's good on 1, 2, and 3. All right, number 4 should be up here. There it is. All right, number 4, we should already know how to do number 4. It's what we did yesterday, basically. All right, what are we supposed to do if you've got a number in front of that bracket? Yeah, so you distribute it to all of them, right? So I'm going to have 4, 8, 6, negative 2 for the first one. Go ahead. For the second, I got negative 9, 0, 6, and 15. <coughs> All right, now it says it just wants you to add them up. So look, you just add up this spot plus this spot. You put negative 5 in that spot on your answer. All right, 8 plus 0 is 8. 9 plus 0 is 12. Negative 2 and 15 is 13. That is your answer on number 4. Anyone have a question? Four, we did some like that yesterday. That wasn't new. Five will be new. Okay, so when you start multiplying, this is our first time we've had to multiply one. First thing you have to do is check and see if you can even multiply them up together. What size is the first matrix? Two by two. What size? Remember, you do rows by columns. So two rows, three columns. So two by three. All right. So can we multiply these together? How, how, how do you know if you can or you can't? You look in the middle, and these middle numbers have to be the same. So yes, we can multiply these. How big will my answer be? Two by three. So go ahead and set it up. 2 by 3, and we will fill in those six answers. All right, watch very closely. Y'all ready? 
you've got to multiply the row by the column. So I've got to multiply and move across this way as I move down this way. It's like that. Move across, move down. So look, I'm going to multiply these two numbers right here. What do I get? Six. Move over, move down. What do I get when I times these two? Six plus 24 is 30 for that spot. All right, I'll stop and see if y'all got a question. Matthew, we're good? Y'all see where I got 30 from? Taylor? All right, so look, to find this top left corner, I had to take the top and the left column. Oh, okay. All right, so now I'm going to find the top middle, so I got to take the top row in the middle column. All right, let's go. Times these two. Times these two. Four times zero. Zero. So negative four plus zero. Negative four plus zero is negative four for that spot. Did I mess up? Let's look. Two times negative two is negative four. Four times zero is zero. All right, next, to find this element, we're going top right column, so I got to use top row right column. All right, let's times it. Two times seven. Four times negative five is negative 20. Add them up. Negative six. Now, we're going to do the same thing we just did, but now we're going to move down here and do the bottom row. Let's start back over. Bottom row, first column. That will give us the answer in the bottom row, first column. All right? You guys try it. See what you get. I don't even know where to go. Okay. All right, I'm going to show it again so Jada can see what's going on. All right, Jada, we're on number five. So look, Jada, when you multiply these, this is a 2 by 2. This one is a 2 by 3. So as long as these middle numbers are the same, you can multiply it. If they're not the same, you write does not exist. And your answer is going to be a 2 by 3. So I went ahead and wrote two rows, three columns, and now we're filling in our answers. All right, so I'm going to show Jada. So Jada, we've already done the top row, so now I'm going to move down to the bottom row, okay? So when you multiply, Jada, you got to multiply this way. Take, you go like this. So times these two, what do you get? Times these two, what do you get? Nine minus six is three for that element. No, 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 nobody else is complaining until you start. I was going to tell you. They don't get it either. When are we going to use this? On the, if you go to college or have it college out. I ain't taking it. When are we going to use this after college? When I retire and you get my job. Me and Matthew. Uh, that's right. That makes sense. We are going for like a. Okay. All right, let's do the next one. All right, so look, Jada. Starting here, you got to start back in the front, and we're going to go on the top. We're going to move like this bottom row, middle column. Three times negative two, negative six, plus zero is negative six. All right. Coach, if you ever had a teacher that said there was not ever going to be a teacher, they come back to you. Yeah, I taught Miss Murray. I taught, I taught a lot of these people. All right, 3 times 7 is 21, plus 5 is 26. where'd you get a plus 5? All right, here we go. 3 times 7 is 21, negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. Remember, you always move over and move down. It's like this. Even on the bottom, do you reverse it on the bottom? Nope. You still start back at the top and go down. All right, that's number five. Now, look, if you guys don't want to show all this stuff, I don't care. I'm just looking for your answer. Yeah, three times seven is 21. Negative one times negative five is positive five. Add them up.
All right, let's go to six. Wait, where in the head did you get 24 from? That 24? Yes. Okay. Three times three is six. Four times six is 24. Okay. This is Guys, first day we're doing this. Is this the only day we're going to be doing this? <laughs> Test Thursday over is over. These? Three different sections of this stuff. Now the adding matrices we did yesterday, that's easy. The multiplying yeah. is harder. Wait till you get a three by three. Are you going to multiply? Just one. No. All right, let's go to six. No, sir. So everybody look at what I've done on number six. They had this written down on your worksheet. I just went ahead and distributed, distributed, and I got that. So I did that first. So look at what you've got on your sheet, Jada. I, I did two times negative three, I got negative six. Two times two is four, zero, and 10. Go ahead and write that down, and then we'll talk about the next step. Okay, I'll wait on you. All right, so order of operations, guys. Do you multiply first, or do you add these two first? You multiply, so we've got to multiply these two. Now let's first make sure we can even multiply these two. What size is the first one? Two by two, what size is the second one? So look at the middle. Yes, you can multiply it. What size will the answer be? Two by two. I bet y'all could go ahead and do that, couldn't you? Absolutely not. All right, well, I'll help you. All right, so we'll have to bring the last one down, and we'll add them on the next step, but we'll go ahead and multiply it. Y'all go ahead and try it for me. You already got this one done? Yes, sir. All right. See bombs all over this. All right, let's multiply them. Here we go. Y'all ready? Two times negative three. Four times two is eight. Add them up. First number should be a two. Matthew says the other one's 20. Do I even need to do it? All right, let's wait. Matthew says that's 20. Is that wrong? No. All right, let's check it. Two times zero is zero. Four times five is 20. Add them up, it is 20. So now if you want to find the answers on the bottom row, we just got to slide down here now and do the bottom row. Start over. Three times negative three is negative nine. Minus two should be negative 11. Hold on. Okay. Where is that Did you get it? All right, do you see how I got 20? See how I got two. All right. Do I need to show how I got negative 11? All right. So for the last spot, it's bottom row, right column. So I got to multiply the bottom row by the right column. Three times zero. Minus five. Zero minus five is negative five. We'll get better at this, guys. So get better at it. Yep, by the top number. Always start back on top of the column. Okay, I'll do it all. Always start back top. So, final answer now. It's easy to add them up. We did some of these yesterday. All you do is add up this spot right here with this spot right here. That's negative four. All right, let's go this spot right here with this spot right here. That's 20. I got this element plus this element. It's negative 7. Negative 5 plus 10 is 5. Let me check my answer sheet on that one. What number is that? Negative 4, negative 7, 20, and 5. All right, that's right for number 6. Question. You got your notes? Where are you going? We're in second block. Where are you going? Yeah, I don't know where we are. Which class is that? Oh. We got a problem. There's three of them. Yeah, we do. All right, look. What size is the first matrix? Two by three, right? What size is the second matrix? Oh, two by three. Two by three. Jacob said we can't even do it. How come? The middle numbers don't match up. How does that keep us from being able to multiply? It don't exist. But look, let me show you. Matthew, if I multiply these two together, 
No problem. I got 9. If I multiply these two together, I got negative 12. Now look, I got a problem. 7, and I don't have anything down here to multiply. So you've got to have the same numbers in your column here that you had in your row there. Does that make sense? So you can't do this one. Does not exist. I'll give you some of those on the test. All of them? No. Seven eighths. All right, so on this side on the worksheet, guys, I already said y'all can uh, mark out 10, 11, and 12. We're skipping those. That's not on your test. I bet y'all can do eight by yourself. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's finish nine, then we'll all use the rest of them. I'd, re I'd really like to go ahead and, yeah. One through eight. Um, distribute, distribute, and add that. Yes. Multiply is the only time. It's not the only time, but all these are going to work. Matthew, you got them? Got your four answers? All right, where do I start, Matthew? I'm on number nine. I'm going to even do it. You have to start making a three times two. All right, what's next? Very good. So first number is negative six. All right, do the next one. That's what I got on nine. All right, question about the front. All right, flip it over. The back should be really easy. We've already done. We've already looked at some problems that are on the back. Let's look at number five. I can show you number five, and y'all should be able to do the other seven at the top. All right, so look at number five. All right, phone should be up. What's the first thing on number five we need to do? Yeah, I'm going to distribute here, 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 all these by seven. So I'm going to get seven times two, 14, negative seven, 56, 48, 49, 63. I'll stop there and let you write it down. All right, now here's the only place you might mess up on this side. Matthew, what do I have to times everything by on the second matrix? Negative two. Negative two. And guys, when you multiply by negative two, it means you've already used the negative here, so this turns into a plus. So I got positive two, negative eight, positive six, negative 14, negative four, positive 12. All right, last step. When you add these up, watch how easy this part is. 14 plus 2 is 16. So when you add them up, shouldn't have any trouble there. Yeah, negative 7, negative 8, negative 15. 56 plus 6 is 62. So you're just adding, you know, top left-hand corner spot with top left-hand corner. 
All right, add up your bottom three. I got 14, 45, 75. All right, y'all finish one through eight, and then we'll decide if we're going to do nine and 10 today.